as we continue this joyful celebration of worship, turning now to a time of installation and making official this ministry for Jenny. I invite you to join me in proclaiming the ways that we live out our gifts. You will find the litany of gifts in the insert in your bulletin. There are different gifts. There are different ways of serving God. God works through different people in different ways. Each one is given gifts by the Spirit. Together, we are the body of Christ. Though we have different gifts, together we are a ministry of reconciliation led by the risen Christ. We work and pray to make Christ's church useful in the world, and we call men and women to faith so that in the end, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Within our common ministry, some members are chosen for particular work as ministers of the word, ruling elders, or deacons. The ministry of the church is shared by pastor and people, so that all together may fulfill the mission to which we are called in Jesus Christ. The particular responsibility of the ministry of word and sacrament is to build up the church and serve the people of God, so that the word may be rightly proclaimed and the sacraments rightly celebrated. The call to this ministry has been extended by this congregation, accepted by Jenny, and approved by the Presbytery. Christine, will you now present Jenny? On behalf of the congregation, I bring Jenny Davis to be installed as associate pastor. In her baptism, Jenny was clothed with Christ. She was ordained to the ministry of word and sacrament by the Presbytery of Southern New England and is now called by God through the voice of this church to serve as associate pastor of this congregation. We remember with joy our common calling to serve Christ as we celebrate God's call to our sister Jenny to serve among us as pastor. Jenny, I ask you now to affirm your commitment to ministry by responding to the questions we ask of those called to be ruling and teaching elders. Do you trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, your Savior, acknowledge him Lord of all and head of the church, and through him believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Do you accept the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments to be, by the Holy Spirit, the unique and authoritative witness to Jesus Christ in the church universal, and God's word to you? Do you sincerely receive and adopt the essential tenets of the Reformed faith as expressed in the confessions of our church as authentic and reliable expositions of what Scripture leads up to believe and do? And will you be instructed and led by those confessions as you lead the people of God? Will you be a minister of the word and sacrament in obedience to Jesus Christ, under the authority of Scripture and continually guided by the confession? I will. Will you be governed by our church's polity, and will you abide by its discipline? Will you be a friend among your colleagues in ministry, working with them, subject to the ordering of God's word and spirit? I will. Will you, in your own life, seek to follow the Lord Jesus Christ, love your neighbors, and work for the reconciliation of the world? Do you promise to further the peace, unity, and purity of the church? Will you, serve, will you seek to serve the people with
with energy, intelligence, imagination, and love. Will you be a faithful minister, proclaiming the good news in word and sacrament, teaching faith and caring for people? Will you be active in government and discipline, serving in the governing bodies of the church? And in your ministry, will you try to show the love and justice of Jesus Christ? Will. And there are questions for the congregation as well. Do you, the members of this church, accept Jenny Davis as your associate pastor, chosen by God through the voice of this congregation to guide you in the way of Jesus Christ? If so, say, we do. We do. Do you agree to pray for her, encourage her, to respect her decisions, and to follow as she guides you, serving Jesus Christ, who alone is the head of the church? If so, say, we do. We do. Do you promise to pay her fairly and provide for her welfare as she works among you, to stand by her in trouble and share your joys? Will you listen to the word she preaches, welcome her pastoral care, and honor her authority as she seeks to honor and obey Jesus Christ as our Lord. If so, say we do. We do. I now invite all ruling and teaching elders to come forward as we engage in prayer and laying on of hands. <coughs> Please pray with me. We praise you, eternal God, for the church throughout the world, born of your love, saved by your grace, and sustained by your Holy Spirit. Make us the community you have called us to be, a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, your very own people, gifted to proclaim your marvelous love. We praise you that you have chosen servants in every age, speak your word and lead your people. We give you deep thanks for your servant Jenny, for the faith you kindled and nurtured in her, for the gifts you have generously bestowed upon her, and for this ministry to which you have called her. Anoint her with power to proclaim the gospel in word and sacrament, in witness and in service, in truth and in love for the building up of the people of God and for the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, generous God. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon this congregation and all its people, that baptized into your service and united in Christ's love, we may serve you with joy and faithfulness. Let the word we proclaim be your word of truth. Let the compassion we show to the world be your love in Christ. Gracious God, accept all that we are and all that we have in the service of Jesus Christ and strengthen us by the power of your Holy Spirit now and forever and let all of God's people say, Amen. Jenny, as a minister of Word and Sacrament in the Church of Jesus Christ, you are now installed as associate pastor of this congregation. Be faithful and true in your ministry so that your whole life will bear witness to the crucified and risen.